to do something unique in this place today. Father, we look forward to what you said you would do because we know you are faithful. Faithful God, we thank you for the opportunity that we have to gather together again. We say thank you. Glorify your name in the midst of your people. Glorify your name today, O God. 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 Glorify your name in this place, O God. Glorify your name in this gathering, O God. Thank you, Father. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. It's a very special day in God's presence. The only, there's one assurance that I have. That what he said he would do this morning, he will do it. It doesn't matter how we feel. It doesn't matter how we think. But he said he would do something. And I'm just looking around and checking how it's going to be. I want to give God praise that I can hold this mic today. Because I know it's not by power or by might, but by his spirit. And he is God indeed. Hallelujah. Over the weekend, we had a major uh, function in the family. And I wanted my husband to be in that function. I desired so much he would be in that function. But he had another appointment somewhere. Am I to go on what's going on? Hallelujah. He had another appointment, another family appointment, the big family appointment, not our own direct family. And he had made up his mind he would go to the big one, that he wasn't going to be here in Abuja. And one thing that is holding me up here this morning is what the Lord did. Because the Lord just said I should leave him, that is leave him the God of heaven, to do what he would do. In normal climb, I would do everything possible to make sure that that arrangement does not work. It was to travel to Lagos. Normally, I would not buy the ticket, and I know he won't remember to book the ticket. I would not make sure that the drivers come on time. Because he won't remember to tell them they should come on time. I will not do so many things, but everything that I normally would not do, I did. Clap for me. I booked the ticket a week ago. I made the ticket very early in the morning so that he would be able to make all his appointments in Lagos. I got the driver to arrive two hours before the time he would travel. And I made sure there was fuel in the car. So there was no way he wouldn't have gone on that trip. But the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, that is going to grant your heart's desire today, he granted my heart's desire. He got to the airport late, despite all my arrangement. But it wasn't, it wasn't an ordinary lateness. It was divine lateness. It was arranged by heaven. And then he got annoyed by the way they were running around at the airport. They were asking him to pay almost three times what he was supposed to pay. And he got annoyed and came back home. Hallelujah. Uh -uh, I thought you would clap better than this. I suspect he will be watching me right now. That's why I'm taking this time to do this. And everything that I wanted him to attend, he attended everything. So, and then the Lagos one, he can go and do everything after doing my own. Hallelujah. What God told me is that you don't need to fight in any more battles. You don't need to struggle. What is expecting of you is a sacrifice of praise. I'm speaking this morning on the sacrifice of praise. 
And we'll look at Jeremiah 33. Jeremiah 33, verses 10 and 11. Let's see if I could have that. Jeremiah 33, verses 10 and 11. Thus saith the Lord, Again there shall be heard in this place, which ye say shall be desolate without man and beast, and without beasts, even in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem that are desolate without man, and without inhabitant, and without beast. Verse 11. The voice of joy. Ah, oh my goodness. Are you here? The voice of gladness. The voice of the bridegroom. And the voice of the bride. The voice of them that shall say, Praise the Lord of hosts. For the Lord is good. For his mercy endureth forever. And of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. For I will cause to return the captivity of the land as at the first, saith the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. I want you to please sing unto the Lord this morning. Chapter 13, I'm reading verse 15. By him, therefore, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. This morning, what the Lord has asked me to do, I beg you, please forgive me, is not a normal thing. What the Lord has asked me to do is that this place should Amen. scatter. Amen. And what it means is that you don't remain in one position. If you like, you can. You can sit down and remain in one position as this message goes on. But for people that have understanding and for the things that the God of heaven told me he will do, you will need to move around. You will need to, to sink to the left and sink to the right. You will need to dance before the God of heaven. Amen. Because he said it is in this dancing that he will bring to pass what he has said he will do in your life. What you have waited for from January, February, March, April, up to this point. He said you are not going to lift a finger. You are just going to dance. I know in my own case, one second, one second the instrument. I know in my own case, I know what I'm waiting for. And this year will not pass me by. Amen. But for you, in your own may be next year. Don't worry. Next year will be here because you will leave. So you can decide to just wait. Just sit down, you know, as majesties, as excellencies. Just relax. But watch those of us 
that we go the way we desire to go because God is out to do something and he said he will bring it to pass. Let me first of all bring some understanding to us. The Bible says praise is comely. It means praise is pleasant. Praise is attractive. Praise is delightful. It says in Psalm 33 verse 1, Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. It also says in Psalm 147 verse 1, Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant and praise is comely. God inhabits the praises of his people. He does not eat pounded yam. He does not eat uh, the way Erujeja says it. He does not eat porero. He does not eat spaghetti. But what does he eat? Praise. What does he eat? Praise. What does he eat? Praise. And praise will we give him this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And we are saying that today is a sacrifice of praise. A sacrifice is an act of slaughtering an animal or person or surrendering a possession as an offering to God or to a supernatural figure. It can also be defined as an act of voluntarily or willingly parting with something precious, highly valued, for someone else to enjoy. In some, some few weeks ago, we were just walking out along the road, not weeks ago, years ago, about three, four years ago, there in Guarimpa, and at the junction, I saw a basket. I saw a uh, yam. I saw palm oil and egg, the kind of things we used to see in Lagos. I said, so is this one appearing here? And I'm in this environment. It stops now. It stops now. You know, but somebody brought that sacrifice and brought it to the junction. They said, bring it to the uh, three point junction or four point junction. When we were on campus, and I know some politicians will understand what I'm talking about. Uh, when it is time for elections, you find people that go naked. They carry sacrifice. I've seen one that they put blood in a bucket and then he put his two legs inside the bucket. They put feathers on his head. Sacrifice. What are they trying to do? They want to get something. So they are ready to pay any price. They are ready. Some, they have to drop their children. They kill their children. Some things happen. Different kinds of things will happen around them. Some people even just have a function. And just because they have a function, some lives must be sacrificed. And that is the way it happens. Sacrifice. But the sacrifice we want to make this morning is a, a sacrifice unto the King of Glory. The sacrifice that God will honor. The sacrifice that God will have respect. He told us that Abel, that God had respect unto the sacrifice of Abel. That he had respect unto the sacrifice of Abel. That's Genesis 4.4. 4. It's usually a great privilege when God asks us for a sacrifice. God asked Abraham for his son. That's the highest sacrifice that Abraham could give. And in Genesis 22.5. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship the sacrifice that he was going to make, the, the sacrifice of his son, he saw it as worship. And with faith he said, and come again to you. By reason of that sacrifice, the Bible says in Genesis 22, verses 16 to 18, and said, by myself have I sworn, said the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, just the way God spoke to Abraham on that day, he will say to some people here today that for what you have done, for the way you have danced before me, for the way you have sang before me, ah, I will in multiplying, I will multiply you. In blessing, I will bless you. 
I will multiply your seed. I'm not going to beg you to say amen. Please don't bother saying amen. Those that want to say amen, say a good amen. Because it shall be according to your amen. And as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of the enemies, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth Amen. Amen. In Hebrews 13, 15, we are talking about the fruit of our lips. So we are going to give God pleasure this morning with the fruit of our lips. Going to great extent to adore him. We will praise God. You know, people praise God for different kinds of reasons. But what God is asking of us this morning, first and foremost, is to praise him for what he has not done. But we are assured that he is able to do. What he has not done, but we are sure he is able to do. When Paul and Silas were in the prison, they had assurance that God is able to deliver them. Abby? They were very sure. That's why Paul and Silas, they, they pray. pray. And they sang the Holy Ghost kingdom. For what God has done. If you do, if you like the exercise of sit down, stand up, sit down, you can go on doing it. But if I had advise you, I would advise you to just keep standing because you will still sing, you will still praise God. Praising God when He has done great things for us, that one is very easy. Uh, when God has promoted you, when your children have graduated from the university, when the children of Israel crossed the Red Sea, Miriam and Moses. They didn't find it difficult to sing. They started to sing now. Paul and Silas, they pray. They pray. You don't understand. I will sing unto the Lord. For he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider. He has run into the sea. that we are bringing today is to create an ambushment for our enemies. There's a practical example that we are going through this morning and there are five steps. The sixth step is the final step. Moab and Ammon, they came against Israel for no reason, but because of their God. It's like they came to fight their God. Because they had heard about them, so they didn't have any business coming to fight the children of Israel. I don't know who is confronting you. They don't have any business confronting you. And today, you are coming to the end of that battle. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 20 and 17, it says you shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself, stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem, O Asokoro church. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them. It is today. 
Today we are going out against them. For the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshipping the Lord. And the Levites of the children of the Kohathites and the children of the Korites stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. Where are the Levites? Where are the Kohathites? Are you in the house? Yes. Then you will rise up and we will sing. We bow down and worship. told me is that these people should not stay in their chairs. That they should move all over the place as they sing the songs. Depending on what you are asking of God this morning. That you will bow but you will not stay in one place. Because you are going to be singing to the God of heaven until that which you desire. What you are looking for. That you have looked for from January till February till March till this moment. Because he said, if you, if he will meet you in every part of this auditorium. He will show up in every corner of this auditorium. So it is there for you to decide how you want it. I bow down before you. And I worship you. I worship you that way. against all your enemies in the house and they will come that come against you and all of them will be smitten they will be smitten glory be to God in the highest for his mercy and joy forever glory be to God in the highest amen glory be to God Hallelujah. 
still, stand still wherever you are and listen. Because as it was with the children of Israel, with Jehoshaphat, that is the way it will be for you. What the, my Bible tells me, that the enemies helped to destroy themselves. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy another. And when Judah came towards the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, they were dead bodies falling to the earth, and none escaped. Today, no one will escape. Today, no one will escape. I want you to declare no one will escape. No one will escape. As you are going now, say no one will escape. They will not escape. By the praise that I give unto you, Jehovah, today, no one will escape. No one will escape. No one will escape. I will sing unto the Lord. I will sing unto the Lord. For he has triumphed over me. The horse is at his fire. He has told it to the sea. I will sing unto the Lord. Oh, yeah. He has Because it has to do with me. It bears my name. It bears my name. You know, your own name may not be like my own, as sweet as my own is. My name is Blessing. And so I don't know what you are called. Uh, you can be somebody else. But I am Blessing. We gathering the spoil. The Bible says, when Jehoshaphat and his people, verse 25, and his people come, came to take away the spoil of them, they found about, among them in abundance those that will not escape, all those that you have slain. Maybe you did not do anything, but for me, I have put them in their places. And now it is time to go and gather my spoil. And the Bible says, the riches were with those dead bodies precious jewels which they stripped off for themselves more than they could carry away and there were three days in gathering of the spoil it was so much it was so much and on the fourth day they assembled themselves in the assembly of his excellency and for there they blessed the lord Therefore, the name of this place, hitherto we have called it Assembly of His Excellency. Now we will call it Assembly, the Valley of Baraka. And Baraka means blessing, the, 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 the Valley of Blessing. When blessings come, normally you would expect it on top of a mountain. When it is a valley, it means that you will feel, 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 and so much will be available for you. For me, it is my valley of Baraka today. And what we have come to do, when you are gathering spoil, when you are seeing things, there was a day I was just checking some places in the house. And 
I just flipped an envelope. Where did I put this one here? I don't want to mention it. Ah, I said, God, this is good. At this kind of season and time, this is very good. You know, some green stuff, you know, you just find them somewhere, somewhere like that. I said, God, and you know, I was, I was thinking maybe I will still see more. I was looking for more. I was looking for more. But I know I'm not that careless. I don't throw them around anyhow like that. That one was positioned by heaven for a purpose. Now you are here. This is your valley of Baraka. I want you to begin to take your own spot. Begin to gather your spot. Begin to take your own. Say it with the fruit of your lips. Declare it the way you want it. What you want to hear this week. What you want to see this week, begin to collect. It's so much in the house. There's so much in the house. Like about shame, terrible Korea. In the name of Jesus, I begin to gather. I begin to gather. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has shown me well Come and join me sing hallelujah hey, Jehovah Jireh has shown me well Come and join me Come and join me sing hallelujah Come and join me Jehovah Jireh has shown me well Jehovah Jireh has shown me well Jehovah Jireh has shown me well Some people will say, eh, why, why would they not be thanking God? Why would they not thank God? It's not their fault. They can thank God now. Eh? When they are coming to church, they are coming with their husband. When they are coming to church, they are coming with their children. And me, I'm like this. So what am, what am I to thank God for? What, 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 what makes me to want to be jumping and to be screaming? Instead of uh, children coming, instead of appointments coming, they are telling me that they are even sacking me. They are telling me that I would not even go to work. So I don't really need to, to... If you stay in that place, you are on your own. Because in this place, God is turning situations around. God is turning situations around. And he said, he will only do it by praise. 
let the people praise me. Let the people just praise me. Praise me anyhow. Just sing unto me any new song. Sing your own song. Sing your own song. Sing in your language. Do whatever you like before the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He says, bring sacrifice of praise unto me. Just do it anyhow. 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 Don't care about who is by your side. Don't worry about what anybody says. Don't even look at the picture. Don't look at the pastor. Look at me, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because I'm out to do something in this assembly today in the name of Jesus. Make a shot there about a bubble sun telebacuria. Make a shot there about sweet. We must send to him a curia. We must send to the curia. Come on, you must do what he said you will do. You have to do what he said you will do. Make a bow shot there about a bubble sun telebacuria. Make a bow sun telebacuria. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. By reason of what God will do in your life, the fear of God will be upon all the kingdoms of those countries. All the people that have made life difficult for you that had made things difficult for you whatever it is that had made you barren whatever it is that had made you stagnated whoever has stood in your way you will they will hear about your testimony and they will fear the god that you serve they will fear the God that you serve. They will fear the God that you serve. I want you to lift up your voice and shout hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 One more, one more thing. My time is running out. My time is running out. One more thing, the Lord says I should tell you. Make a commitment that you will bring a sacrifice of praise onto this altar. Make up your mind that you will bring a sacrifice of praise onto this master, onto the ruler of the universe, onto the God of all the earth. And that as you bring yourself, as you bring your sacrifice, as you you know, a living sacrifice, how you know how a sacrifice is living, is that it must be growing. It will be growing, it will be increasing, it will be multiplying. The blessings of God in your life from today will multiply. I have no doubt about it. It will multiply in the name of Jesus. But listen to me. All this that we are doing will not happen if you have not presented yourself to the Lord. My time is up. But please, as you are standing, could you please just close your eyes so that we can give an opportunity for people that have not known the Lord. Paradventure. Paradventure, they will choose to serve the Lord from today. That they will decide that they will serve the God that we serve, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God that is with us in the Valley of Baraka. Please close your eyes so that I can minister to these people. If you are here in this auditorium and you have not at any time given your life to Jesus and you want to do that today so that the joy that we have, the excitement that is in us, the, the, initial, the, the strength that we have that is pushing us the way we are, you want to be part of it just to raise your hand unto God. I just want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. There's an anointing in this house this moment. And I want you to take advantage of it. Is there anyone that wants to give his or her life to the Lord Jesus? Are you there in the auditorium? Those that are coming for the first time? Any other kind of person? What I want is for you to just lift your hand to God. Lift your hand to God. That you want to give yourself as a first sacrifice unto God. I'm not seeing any hands anywhere. Our ushers helping me. Is there any hand that is lifted up? Is there any hand? I'm seeing some hands at the back. I don't know if this is for this purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
All of us together. Okay. There's someone here that wants to give his life to Christ. I thought I saw some hands up there too. Please come quickly. We don't have much on time. Come quickly. I thought the Lord said some people will give their life to Christ this morning. If you are there, please bring that down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Please, don't let's, don't miss this opportunity. The greatest sacrifice that God wants from you is your, your soul. He needs you. I believe there are still one or two people there. You can be seated on the uh, congregation. Please sit down. Please sit down. And let's pray for this once. I believe there are still one or two people there. Now you should give your life to Christ today. And please don't miss it. Don't miss it. Just come here and we will pray with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Let's pray. Father, we are grateful unto you. Thank you for bringing this once to your kingdom on a day of thanksgiving, on a day of praise. Father, we ask, oh God, they will abide in your presence all the days of their lives. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we pray for this congregation, Lord, that what you have said, you would also bring to pass. You said that you will cause something to happen, that all of them will come back rejoicing. That there will be joy. There will be loud noise of joy. In the name of Jesus, let this word come to pass. Let it come to pass according to your word. In the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that would want to pick the, the blessings of people. That would want to distract them from following you. Father, we speak against that in the name of Jesus. And we say what is done here today shall be permanent. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. So, you can't even say amen. amen. I wish you understand that you can say a better amen. amen. Shout hallelujah unto the Lord. I can see everything turning around.